Hi guys, one of my rambling introductions here. I just did a charity shop gold or garbage video where I showed you know, I picked up this little air hogs steel back helicopter. No controller, no information. So I had a look on the air hogs website or the spin master website. Uh, to see if I could find any information about it. There was no manual for it, but while I was looking through the manuals, I spotted the instructions for this thing. Now, this thing I picked up, I think it was last year, and didn't find much information about it at the time. Decided it didn't work. I I found I could charge it um, and then you'd switch it on and it'd run for a couple of seconds and then it'd just die. It's, it is an Air Hogs or a Spin Master. I think it actually says it on there somewhere. 2009 Spin Master Limited, all rights reserved. Um, yeah, I found it eventually, and I've been watching some videos on how it should work, and I found that it should work with this, which is another thing out of my junk box. Uh, possibly one of my grandsons at some time or other has had it, but there was nothing else that came with it when I inherited it from them, when it got thrown out. But apparently you can use that to shoot this down when it's flying. This is one of those things that just hovers. It's got an infrared sender, an infrared receiver, so it can judge its height. And having watched a few videos now, and I've just put, put together a little playlist of all the Air Hogs videos that go with it, um, you set it going it sets itself up so it stays hovering at a particular height and then you either control it by putting your hand underneath it so it senses something's come close and it moves away from it or you just push it around or you can catch it with this little bit on top so it can still spin or you can shoot it down with this thing so still rambling here when I originally had it, I did charge it up and it only ran for a few seconds. Tonight, I've charged it up and it runs for a little bit longer. Not much longer, but enough time for it to stabilise in flight. I didn't get to be able to actually shoot it down with this thing. And the videos I were watching were for the Mark II version, not the Mark I version. Although I did find a video by RC101 where he's actually reviewing this version the original Mark 1 version so that will be in the playlist as well so there's the Air Hogs official videos and the RC101 video of this so I'm going to go in the kitchen now and have another go with it it doesn't work as well as it should and when I originally picked this up I only got it for parts I thought I might be able to make a um, use the propeller for a aeroplane or something because it's a pusher propeller on it so well that was the original idea haven't done anything with it it's been in my junk junk box for a year or so now but it does take charge so I'll charge it up and we'll go and see if we can actually get it to hover um, yeah just us looking at granddad's junk pile I suppose we could call this series <laughs> Oh, I'll put links in the video description to the instructions as well on the Air Hogs website so you can download them if you want them. Right, we'll use the hack camera. One thing on the video that it tells you is you're supposed to have a light coloured floor. Well, my floor is not very light coloured, but that's how it works it bounces the infrared light back so it can judge its height when I tried it earlier on it did work 
uh, but it probably would work better on a lighter coloured floor. And it also needs light coloured wall walls as well. So we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, it's quarter to midnight at the moment, so my wife won't be very happy if I wake her up. Okay, you put it on the floor, or at least you, you switch it on, put it on the floor, and it should start going. It, it sets its own height. It goes up and down. It says leave it playing around for 10 seconds before you do anything else. So on, on the floor. stop it again then because it once it starts bouncing into things before it's settled down then it won't settle down properly so you obviously need a bit more space we'll have another go on down again now we're out of power typical it only ran for about 30 seconds when I tried it before but we did manage to get it to stabilize at about this height and stay there so I'll charge it up again end of take one okay I've recharged it hat camera back on again on that's a bit more positive uh, you're supposed to stop Okay, so it should have more or less stabilised. Um, yeah. I don't think we're going to do it, are we? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it was good fun when it was new. Either that or you just need a much bigger room to get started. Because that does seem to be the problem. If it hits anything at the moment, it just bounces and uh, goes wrong. That's supposed to be a infrared sensor as well or sender so it can actually tell when it's getting close to things is it worth switching it on and again off on no out of battery again so uh yeah <laughs> it's still junk motor clearly works uh, battery's not holding charge for very long and the sensors well maybe there's not enough power for the sensors to work properly so i think that'll go back in the junk box at least i found the instructions now and some videos that show us how it should fly but I don't think we're actually going to get to the point where we can try shooting it out of the sky. Alright, bye.
back to the junk box, I think. Thanks for watching. If you like that, then you might like this. And if you like this and that, you might like to subscribe over there. <laughs>